and was exiled to the Badlands. Buckeye leather. We have a pillow box here. Let's open this up. This is the Badlands Slim Wallet. It's a bit fancy, hoity-toity. Let's get that going. And let's take a look here. Buckeye leather. And this is the Badlands. This is brown, but also comes in gray with either yellow or red stitching. I really like this clever design. So let's take a look. On the exterior, we have a quick access card slot right here. Full leather slot, one to two cards. We have here an external strap. That's for security, so it comes under the strap and that's where the, the flap goes. If we open this up, we have two internal card slots. And this is where it gets really clever. We have one right here and another one right here. And what I think is clever about this is right here. This is an internal cash flap. Cash gets folded once, laid out, folded once, and this leather tab keeps it organized. Ah, I can't wait to show you how this one works. It measures 3.8 by 2.9 by 0.4, and it weighs 1.45 ounces, or 41 grams. Oh yeah, mm, this does smell good. All right, company recommends up to nine cards. And you can see that US or similar sized currencies work best. This is not made for uh, taller international currencies. And so you can see how this works. I, I think this is really clever. I like this. And especially it uh, gives us a wrap. You open it up and you have instant access to your cash. You can just fold that, put this into place, and away you go. This is designed and made in the United States. The Badlands wallets are made from either Italian Vachetta veg tan leather or from Crazy Horse Chrome Tan Leather, which is the gray color. Uh, the sewing is really done nicely. Let's take a look here. And we can see that in all the right places we have good reinforcement. This is what we're looking for and expect. And uh, you, you really do from a, a wallet made from such great leather and really the construction that is trying to portray. Burnishing is done nicely on all the edges. Not too high gloss, not too dull. It's just kind of right. I think it just sits really well with the type of wallet that we're working with. The weight of the leather is perfect. You've got several layers that are going on here in particular, and overall it doesn't leave you feeling like you've got a real thick wallet to deal with. The use of a full piece of leather to make the quick access card slot is really nice right here in the exterior. This isn't just a slit that goes in, this is a full piece of leather that's uh, sewn to the exterior. I also like the depth of the flap tongue. Now, th the reason why is because as we get more cash in here, as betrayed by, I've only got five in here. Granted, the wallet is not broken in. Breaking in a wallet will give you a, a whole different experience, but when you wrap this up and you put this in, you begin to see how it begins to pull, and so you need a deeper flap here to accommodate more cash, if that's what you like to carry. And then you've got these sides that act as a stop uh, in case you, you, know, you don't want to push this so far down that it pulls everything too tight. It does have its natural stopper up here, but I think that's just a nice design element. It's priced for $150, which makes my eyes water a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do. From a usability perspective, quick access card slot here in the exterior means you won't be opening the wallet up unless you need cash or more specialized cards that are here or ones that are really up here at the top. I, I just I just think this is so clever. I really like this idea. And we've seen this with cash wallets, right? Um, the kernel has some that we've looked at in the past, but I like how this is integrated and how this just lays out and provides good access to cards in a nice cash wrap environment. Pricing aside, what did you like about this wall? Let me know in the comments below. And if you've seen a design like this before, well, put it down there too. Now onto the final score. Quality of five, price of one. Ben's looking to establish a luxury brand, and thus he's selling his products for more, and that's kind of how that stuff works. However, you know, for what normal people would probably buy, it might be a little high. Features of four, usability of four, and perception of four. And that gives us a score of 3.7 out of five. Overall, a fantastic wallet. Now hang on, because you like this video, then watch this one next, and we'll see you in the next review. Bye.